Lifelock versus Aura. Should you go with one over the other? Is Aura better than Lifelock or do I prefer Lifelock as a product? In this video, I'm going to be answering that question. If you are looking for a snap judgment, let me tell you right now that I think Aura is a better product overall and it offers better pricing than Lifelock. And in this short video, I'm going to explain both of those things. It's not going to be a comprehensive versus review, but I do want to go over some of the main features for each of these products and explain why I think Aura is clearly far and away the better product than Lifelock, even though Lifelock probably still currently has more popularity, more market share, just because it is an older product. If you have been shopping for identity theft protection services, you already understand that they offer many similar features, right? So as you scroll down to the Lifelock Ultimate Plus, you're going to see things like this million dollar reimbursement for stolen funds, also known as the, uh, the million dollar insurance policy. Virtually every identity theft protection service is going to offer this. You're going to get uh, social security number alerts, credit uh, monitoring, alerts on crimes in your no name, dark web alerts, et cetera, a home title monitoring, so on and so forth. So if we look at uh, Aura, we're also going to see pretty similar stuff, right? There's the insurance policy, um, white glove fraud resolution, which LifeLock also offers something along those lines. Um, I don't see it here, but uh, they do have uh, ongoing um, help and support for those of you who need it. Uh, and then you'll see with Aura, you actually get a little more. You get antivirus, VPN, et cetera. But the crux of the actual identity theft protection service is usually, it's going to be the, these things, right? Whether you go with Aura, whether you go with LifeLock, whether you go with Costco, uh, they're all going to promise to offer the same things. So the question really is how well do they deliver uh, these services and then how are they priced, right? So uh, and let me start by doing a comparison of the actual quality of their services. You're going to hear some rain falling in the background here. We've got a little storm coming in. So this is uh, Norton, and this is what they call their privacy monitor. And you could compare this to uh, Aura's identity monitor uh, under the data broker section. So if we start with Norton, it will basically tell me under the privacy monitor that I have exposed personal info that has been found on the internet. And Aura is going to tell me um, much the same, but the difference is that Aura actually proactively opts out, opts you out of collection by all of these data brokers. So it's a much better product in that sense. Now, moving on to alerts, this is a very easy feature to do an apples to apples comparison with. Basically, Norton and Aura both offer dark web alerts. What are these? Basically, anytime your info shows up, as part of a password breach for sale, um, anywhere on what is commonly called the dark web, you are going to get a notification on these platforms, at least in theory, right? Uh, so they're not gonna catch all of the data that is out there, but if we look here, we can see that Aura has found my login credentials on literally dozens of different websites. It's alerting me of different password breaches and I input my email address into Norton to see what results they could find. And I literally only have two. So Aura clearly excels at the dark web monitoring feature that uh, Norton LifeLock also offers. So these are just two examples of why I think Aura is genuinely a better product. The third point I'll make before wrapping this up is the pricing for LifeLock, or sorry, the pricing for Aura is just a lot more straightforward. It's more transparent. So here, if you click the link in the video description below, you are going to get our updated exclusive Home Security Heroes discount, which can save you up to 50% in the case of a family plan. And what I like about Aura is that the pricing is very straightforward. So there's no difference in the actual features that are included from package to package. There might be a difference in volume, right? So with the um, with the individual package with Aura, I get I antivirus on 10 devices. If I go to the couple, I upgrade that to 20, which is probably overkill. I don't know anybody who has 20 devices are actively using, but you see that the features are actually the same. The only difference is the, uh, the volume, how many devices you can use those features with, but all of this stuff is the same from plan to plan. Whereas with LifeLock, it's different. And so if you go standard, you're only really going to get credit monitoring, which is a feature that I don't think you should be paying for in 2022. And then you're going to get identity and social security number alerts. So you actually have to bump up to the advantage or even to the ultimate plus to get all of the same features that Aura offers. And so if you're watching this and you have a family and you're trying to figure out the pricing uh, for your family plan, that's another point where LifeLock is uh, just confusing, frankly, and not as straightforward as Aura. So here Aura 
If you use our link in the video description below, you're going to get $25 a month for that family, family plan. Whereas with LifeLock, all you can see from the payment page is that it's going to be $240 a year, but that is only for one person with the Ultimate Plus package. And if you want to add additional members, price is going to escalate uh, pretty quickly. So uh, overall, the uh, the family is actually a much more cost-effective plan to go with the family plan from Aura than the family plan from LifeLock. So that's in summary how I'm feeling about these products right now, having used both of them uh, very recently. Uh, Norton's an older product. You might have more name recognition when it comes to the Norton brand, but I think they haven't had the pressure to innovate that a newer product like Aura has had. So for all of those reasons, if you're comparing LifeLock versus Aura, you're wondering which one to go with, I would just go with Aura. It's a more modern product. It does its job better than LifeLock and the pricing is more transparent and in virtually all cases going to be lower. So that's my recommendation for now. Plan to do a more comprehensive video on the topic soon and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye.